Array Mesh is a feature which allows you to very quickly duplicate around shapes to create very interesting patterns and different 3D models. The way we can do this is if we open up the Array Mesh C tool, which follows along. If we go under Subtool, just make sure this is selected. And we'll go under Tool and Array Mesh, and here we have it. If we now click on the Array Mesh right here, the only one we can really click on, and set this to Transpose, now we can start to move this around. If you go to move and make sure this is a transpose and not gizmo, it's really important. Now we hold on the shift key and we can snap it left to right. So we get a perfect 90 degree angle. And now we can hold on the shift key and we can move it over like so. Now here you can see how many times you want to repeat. So if you were to click here and you would drag this left to right, you can also do the same thing here as well. So if let's say you want six copies, we can add six copies here. And then we can hold the middle one and we can just move it out like so. So now we have six copies of our roof tiles. Now we can, in order to duplicate this entire thing up once, we have to append the stage or append it so we can make a new stage. So what we need to do now is we need to click this one. This is append new. Now we can see we're at stage two. So what we do now is we go from the side view, just rotate and hit the shift key to go to the side view. Hold on the shift key just to create uh, this nice angular look. And then we just drag it in the middle. And we can just drag it up like so. We can also set this to be multiple, like to repeat multiple times. So we can do the same thing as before. We set this to something like five. And we just move it in so it fits, so it looks like a nice roof. So now we have one side of the roof. You can also modify it as well. If you want to modify it, you can go back to the original one and hit Shift F to get up the polyframe. Now you can modify it to heart's content. If you want to make it a bit more wonky, you can do that. Keep in mind this does it to all of the all of the meshes in the array. So now if you want to do do it again and make the other side of it, we can hit append new. Now we have a new side to it. And down here, you can see we have some mirror features. So if we click this now, you can see what happens. We click the different ones. So we want to click the the Y mirror, or we want to click the Z mirror. Um, either one of them is really fine. Let's use the Z mirror for now. And now we can hold down, click the move tool. We're using the transpose lines. And now we can just drag it over here. And now we have a nice little roof. So this is a very quick way of working. Most because now we can we can quickly go between them. We can, we can add more uh, tiles to this. If we, for instance, want to make uh, have more in the first stage, we can go under the first stage here. Now you can see which stage you're in, so you can see which one which one you're manipulating. So let's go to stage one. So it's to repeat multiple more times. Now you can see it just it just automatically changes the amount. So if we want this to be a really long roof. We can just go in here now and just move this over so that this here now fits really nicely. So array mesh is an incredibly powerful feature. Something you can also do as well, you can now save this preset because now we have we have a bunch of settings here and these are just procedural settings. There isn't anything special here in like how much we've moved around, whatever it might be. This is just in a setting here. So you can in theory save this out and apply this to another another model. So what we can do, we can hit save, we can save it out and you can hit open and you can open up again. Or what we can do, we can go to lightbox and array presets. And here there is some crazy stuff going on. Here you can see the different presets people have saved out for you. So here, for instance, we can now turn into some kind of wheels. Just from the get-go, like this, we can create uh, we can create some crazy rotation from this. Let's move it up like so. So we have more real estate. So this allows you to really quickly just move them in crazy, crazy ways. So it's a very powerful system. If you were interested in learning more about the system, I recommend that you go through some of these presets and you try to reverse engineer what's actually going on. Here you can see we're using the offset. We're also using a rotation as well, which is really interesting because you can create these like crazy shapes. You also have different stages as well. So you can try to play around with the different stages as well. Hopefully this will not break my computer at this moment. So array mesh is something I use when I'm dealing with hard surface and I want to repeat, I want to build up shapes quite quickly. I'm not talking about that I want to add 
a bolt at this very specific spot but it's more like if i have to build tons of bricks really quickly or in this case here roof tiles for environment stuff it's also fantastic because it allows you to just very quickly block out an environment